if you're using voice AI and you're not really logging data anywhere, you might be losing on an important opportunity to see how your calls went, check if any issues might be happening, or just check on patterns when it comes to the performance of your calls. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect retail to Google Sheet through an A10 step by step. And if you run into any issues, please feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to talk to me directly one on one, I do also provide free consultations. Links down in the description. And now let's dive in. OK, so the flow is pretty simple. We are going to start from retail. Then in order to record the information in Google Sheet, we are going to use any 10 as an in between to pretty much connect the information that we're receiving from retail and then kind of locking it into Google Sheet. And uh, just as a concept, what we're going to be using is something called a webhook. A webhook is simply collecting uh, or listening to the information coming in from retail. And then we kind of put it into a um, note, so a Google Sheet note, and then we append the information into Google Sheet theoretical talk now we will get into the action so to start uh actually to start we should have this um google sheet very simple one i just created like a transcript or summary honestly you can put whatever you want name email information anything you're collecting that you want to record i'm just keeping it simple here for explanation purposes but you can do your so uh, have fun with that. Okay, so now I have like a really random um, agent here, but honestly, just to keep everything uh, fresh, I'm gonna just use a like, yeah, I'm just gonna use this healthcare check in um, agent to make sure that everything is from scratch and you can replicate it on your own. Cool. So yeah, we pretty much have our agent. Uh, of course, you will have your agent where you can play around with it, but uh, that's that's there. So we don't need to do much here. And now what we need to do is actually set up everything in any time. So as I mentioned before, we will be needing a webhook node. And specifically, we will need a production webhook node. Now, there is a detail that is important to understand here. And that is the HTTP method. So what will happen is that we are going to have retail. Retail is sending out information into somewhere, and that's going to be our webhook. And that is generally a post request. Yeah. And uh, what we will need to do here is we also will need to mimic the what retail is doing. So that's a post request. So we will have to select HTTP method post. And that is quite confusing because I um, kind of imagine that the webhook in any 10 is going to get the information, not post it. But what we're pretty much doing here is we're simply mimicking what retail is doing. So in this case, I, um, yeah, we will need to select the post. Cool. And now with that out of the way, uh, let's uh, copy the webhook, make sure to copy that. And then what we can do is um, actually uh, set from inactive to active, please, because uh, that will allow us to kind of receive the information in. Um, and yeah, again, make sure to copy the uh, information. So the URL. Now, let's go back to retail. And now what we're doing is we are connecting retail and NA10 together. Yeah, we are chaining them together so that they can communicate and uh, retail can send the information into our webhook in any time. Super. All right. I think we can do a test call just to show you the information kind of going into retail. So let's do that. Hi there. This is Kate calling from the appointment department at Retail Health. Am I speaking with Cindy? Yes, this is Cindy. Thanks, Cindy. I'm calling to remind you that you have your annual body check coming up on Thursday, April 4th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Does that time still work for you? Yeah, let's uh, end the call here. Now go back to retail and we go in the execution section. Doo -doo -doo. All right, seems like we got some info here. 
Good, good. Transcript. Lovely. I wonder if we have a summary, but probably. Yeah, so let's uh, let's copy the information that we got here. And what we will do is that we will use this information to pretty much um, test with it. So we're taking it so that then when we want to map out all the fields, we have this call already done. With make.com, for example, you would need to go on Postman and then kind of put in the JSON, put the webhook, it was a bit labor laborious. But here it's actually quite simple. We can just copy the information and the JSON, and then we can, uh, yeah, kind of put it here. So what we need to do is uh, we go into this little pencil from the in the output in our webhook in the editor. You click, you go, and voila, you. Ah, I got only the transcript. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it because uh, we were looking for that. Yeah, good, good that that happens. Um, so I click again. Copy and it will copy everything back into the editor and output. Boom, voila, and then we save. So yeah, as you can see, we have all the info. Transcript. Let's see, okay, it's not really possible to see here. Oh yeah, here we can. So if we go to um, so my call summary, oh, yeah, we have it. Cool. Lovely. So now it's uh, time to go for Google Sheets. So what we will do is uh, we will go to Sheet, Google Sheet, and then we need to append row in Sheet. That means that we are adding a row into the Sheet. Sweet. So I do have already Google Sheet account, like uh, my Google Sheet account is already connected. So if you do not have that, just connect it. It's very simple if you, with the Google sign in. Um, so do that, I won't because I already have that set up. Cool, append, and then we will select the document. That's the Google Sheet that we showed you before. And then the Sheet, Sheet 1, and boom, we have transcript. So what we do is that we go into the input and we search for transcript. So, okay, we take it here. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then summary, summary, and boom. Amazing. And then what we do is we click test step. Voila, we have now the information. It should be uh, now in our Google Sheet, and it is. So yeah, that pretty much worked. And now everything is uh, kind of connected. So actually, if we test the workflow, you will see it coming in again. So if you kind of uh, do a call yourself, that information will kind of get, go directly into the Google Sheet. And just like that, you're now sending all the information from your calls straight into your Google Sheet. Now, this is very important because if you want to collect the information of the leads or you want to check how the call went or just analyze the calls in general, that makes it a centralized place where you can work through your logs and yeah, just get an idea of what's going on when you're sending and receiving these calls. Now, if you get any issues in the process, please feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to talk to me directly one-on-one -on -one to perhaps see any issues that you're going through with this setup, please consider uh, checking the link in the description. I do offer free consultation calls. So yeah, make use of that. Okay. Thanks a lot for your attention. And if you liked, consider subscribing and see you in the next one.